how much does it cost to live in Omaha, Nebraska? Let's get into it. guys, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. This is Life in Omaha where we talk about all things about moving and living in Omaha, Nebraska. I'm Christian Morrison. I'm a full-time licensed realtor uh, here in the Omaha metro area. I have my business partner Tyson who is not here right now but he's here in spirit. And if you are looking at moving to the area, the Omaha metro area, we're happy to help in any way we can. Call us, text us, email us, or hit below and schedule a call with us and we'll help you out. We got your back on anything when moving to the Omaha metro area. One of the quick thing guys, if you wouldn't mind any of you watching this, hit like and subscribe on the channel. It helps us out a lot. We'd really appreciate it if you get any value out of this. Now let's get into today's video. We're talking about the cost of living here in Omaha and I personally moved from a town that was a little bit smaller, but the cost of living was actually a little bit higher than here. So I'm actually gonna go off of a couple of things. National average, gonna show you some numbers, uh, show you exact numbers on stuff, and then also compare it um, to another town that a lot of people move here from, which is Denver, Colorado. Um, so if you're looking at moving here from Denver or something similar, kind of give you the difference in cost, how much you need to make here to match that, all of that kind of stuff. Now to start out overall, Omaha is 7% lower than the national average overall on cost of living. A couple of the key things there, housing is 16% lower than national average. Utilities are 6% lower than the national average. And groceries are 3% lower than the national average. So those are the three major things that people look at uh, from what I can tell when they go look at moving places um, to see kind of cost comparison. Now let's look at Denver specifically. I'm reading a little bit of my notes here. That's what you'll see me looking at down here. Based off a $50,000 a year average salary, if you're making 50 grand in Denver, um, that equates to making just just over like 40500 here in Omaha. So you could take a $10,000 pay cut when coming to Omaha and have a exact same lifestyle. Or if you're making the same, you're gonna have a $10,000 a year better lifestyle than in Denver. So overall cost of living is 16.3% lower in Omaha versus Denver. Housing prices, this one's pretty staggering. Housing prices in Omaha are 38.2% lower than they are in Denver. And that's with our median home price being $387,000. So you can do the math there on how much Denver's average housing price is compared to here. So that's gonna be a really big savings right there, housing. Uh, median rent price in Omaha overall is $1,162, so just about $1,200 a month on average for rent. Average energy, energy bill is $166 a month, phone bill $178, and gas on average is $3.50 per gallon. Now I think this kind of shows a couple things personally. Um, Omaha has almost, and I've been in Denver a lot, I actually lived in Colorado Springs for a long time, went to Denver all the time growing up, and honestly, compare if I compare Omaha to Denver, there's nothing that I miss. There's nothing that I miss other than the mountains, right? Of course, you have the mountains right there, those are close by, and that is definitely something if that's what you're really into, you get into the mountains. I like snow skiing personally, so that is definitely a big benefit to being there. To me, it's not a almost 20% cost of living worth it to me, but Omaha has everything else you need. And honestly, in my experience, Omaha is a little bit nicer than Denver as far as like, they take care of the city really well. I'm actually not 100% sure on the schools in Denver because I don't have experience there, but the schools in Omaha are amazing. They take really good care of them. They invest in the community here a lot in Omaha. I'm sure Denver does as well, but in my experience, Omaha overall, much cleaner, nicer city. It's still got everything you need and want. It's got all the good shops, tons of good restaurants, coffee shops, things to do with your kids, things to do by yourself, nightlife, all of that kind of stuff, right? It's got sporting events. Denver does have major sports teams. We don't have major sports teams here locally. I've already get to Kansas City and get everything you basically would need there. And that's about a two and a half hour drive, which is probably the same as driving through Denver in the middle of traffic. <laughs> but um, not to pick on Denver, it's just the closest big city that I've heard, uh, that I know personally people are moving here from. So just comparing the two there. Now obviously I think Denver's a great town also. I just think comparing the two apples to apples, Omaha has most of everything you're gonna want and need that Denver has, but you're gonna have 16% lower cost of living. There's also a ton of high paying, really good jobs here in Omaha that people come here for, that you can research and find. There's a lot of big companies, obviously Warren Buffett, um, his headquarters of all of his companies are here. I mean, not all of them, but most of them are here. Um, and so that brings in a lot of high paying jobs as well. And it's not just Warren Buffett, there's other really great business people here 
that have built massive companies and host them out of here and bring a lot of jobs to the area that way. So if you've been looking for somewhere to go or if maybe you're already coming here, uh, definitely look at the job market because it's very, very strong. Now I do want to talk about one thing that's actually going to be more expensive. Two things actually that'll be a little bit more expensive when you come to Omaha and that is taxes in two ways. So income taxes, I believe in Colorado are 4% flat there. Here it varies from about two to 6%. So depending on your income bracket, you could be paying a little bit more or a little bit less in income tax. But property taxes are about double what they are in Colorado here in Nebraska. So that's something else to plan for. You know, it'll definitely be offset, if, especially if you're coming from Denver or something like that into this area. But if you're coming here from the national average, property taxes are double the national average here, sometimes more than double depending on the area. So that's something to plan on. I feel like I've talked about this in like every video, <laughs> but it's just something I think people should prepare for that I didn't when I got here. I will say that with all the taxes you pay here, it definitely shows, it's definitely in the community. You can see that the money that you're paying is invested in the community, it's not wasted. They really use it for the good here in the city. All right, again guys, if you are looking to move to the area, we are full-time licensed realtors here in the Omaha Metro. If you got any questions, you got looking to move in Omaha, we got your back covered with anything you need. Call us, text us, email us. All the info is below, or you can hit the link to schedule a call, go directly into our calendars, and we'll hop on a call with you or a Zoom call, whatever you prefer. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. We will see you next time. Peace.